What's up, Ellie? Man, I'm having a hard time making this video. You know what I mean? For whatever reason, I don't know. But, man, the silent war. The silent war. Man, it's a trip because we all carry, we're all engaged in a silent war. Every single one of us. You know what I mean? I don't care how woke you are. I don't care how enlightened you think you are. I don't care how much you think your chakras are lined or, or any of that stuff. You know what I mean? Every single one of us are in a silent war. You know what I mean? And here's the trip because back in 2015, this young guy um, became famous um, here in America. And I'm just going to backdrop to his story. Um, Silento, I think that's his name. Never even heard of the guy. You know what I mean? I heard of the song that he had out that came out in 2015. Uh, watch me, watch me whip, watch me nay nay or something that effect. And I remember all the kids doing it. But I couldn't tell you who did it. You know what I mean? I couldn't tell you. You could put them in a the lineup of three guys and I would get it wrong probably two times. You know what I mean? Because I didn't know who did it. Anyways, this young man, it is said allegedly that he um, he was born with drugs in his system. You know what I mean? Um, he had cocaine and some other stuff allegedly in his system at the time of his birth. You know what I mean? And so he had a struggle. He struggled. You know what I mean? And it's a trip because... So many of us, we think, man, if I could just get famous, if I could just get, you know, people to notice me, if I could just get oot oot oot, if I could just get a little publicity, if I could just get, you know, this one thing done, this one thing, whatever the issue is, whatever I want to, you want to get done, if I could just get this one thing accomplished, man, I'm good, I'm straight, and blah 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 blah, and we never really face the truth about that. We're not honest about that. Your life wouldn't change in regards to that. And what I mean your life wouldn't change. You have all the money in the world, but if you don't deal with your issues, the money is just going to magnify your issues. There's so many people that have had so much wealth and they've squandered it away. There's so many people that had great opportunities, but they never dealt with their issues. And they wasted their opportunity and they're wasting their life. And the trip is, there's a guy, oh, back up. So this guy, Salento, um, got famous. Um, this is 2015. And right now he's in jail, prison, for murder, allegedly. You know what I mean? Um, to the point where his family, his I believe it was his grandmother and even the judge, it says that this person's a danger to the rest of humanity. And it's best that they keep this person locked up. That's what the judge said. And that's what his grandmother said. Allegedly from the paperwork that I'll see. I'll show. And I sit there and I looked at that and I was like, dang. Here's this guy. I remember all these kids singing that song and um, doing the dances and all that stuff. And a few years later, he's incarcerated with the possibility of never, ever getting out. It said that, again, he had drugs in his system as a baby. So we, we can only imagine what was going on in his family life. We can only imagine what was going on in his childhood if he was born with cocaine and other drugs already in his system. And here it is. The world opened up their arms to this guy. And he took the world captive by the song and the dances. And now he's locked up. Why am I talking about this guy's story? It's not to bash him, but to stress the importance of mental health. Nobody knew that this dude was twisted like that. The public didn't know that he had all these issues. The public didn't know he had all these silent battles going on. He had all these silent wars taking place 
allegedly one of his girlfriends before he got locked up had sent um posted a picture of him or a video of him and he wanted to go take care of her and he showed up at a house with a hatchet but it wasn't her house he got the wrong house he didn't kill the people he left He got in trouble for that. But he made bond and got out. It said that he killed his cousin. And that's why he's locked up now. We never know who's going through what. You never know who's fighting what battles. I don't give a damn how good they look. I don't care how smart they are. I don't care how charming they are. You better be careful who you hook up with. And this is not about fear. This is about education. Some of the greatest minds have done some of the most despicable things. You look at some of the serial rapists. Some of the serial killers. You look at the Unabomber. Some of these people had great intellect. Some of these people were great charmers, look good. You would never imagine that they were going to rape you. You would never imagine that this person just sent some stuff to kill some innocent people through the mail. You can never tell just by looking at them that this person has bodies attached to them. Dead bodies. You think because they look good, because they dress nice, because they talk right, that they're the one for you. It's a whole lot of people dead because they thought the same thing. You never know what battles other people are dealing with. You know the battles you're dealing with and you won't share that with people. You won't tell people your craziest thoughts. You won't tell people man, the, the most twisted things you really think about when you get pissed. Or when you get hurt. You won't tell people what's going through your mind. Because you're scared they'll lock you up. Let's be real about it. And so we all have our own battles. Everybody walking this planet has a battle that they're dealing with. Everybody walking the planet has a war that they're fighting. Don't get so super spiritual that you think, oh, I'm just fighting the devil and, the, and I'm stomping on the devil and, do, 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 and you're fighting the devil, but you ain't never dealing with your issues. You so busy fighting the devil and attacking the demons and all his imps and whatever you call them, but you ain't never dealt with your issues. You won't deal with your issues because you so saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, water baptized, running for the Lord. Man, God's got me, and I ain't got to worry about this because God's got me. I'm going to attack the devil. Why are you attacking the devil? I guess you didn't read that part of the Bible. That Jesus already did that. He already conquered him. I guess you didn't read that part of the Bible where God threw him out of heaven. So you ain't got to fight the devil. 
You're so busy fighting the devil, you don't even know who you are. You think you came here for the sole purpose of attacking the devil. You're so judgmental against other people that don't talk like you, walk like you, worship God like you, and all this other foolishness that you won't even deal with your issues. You'll never grow into being the best version of yourself. You'll never walk in your full potential. You'll never walk in your full authority. Because you're fixated on other people. You worrying about everybody else. What are the battles you're fighting? And the truth be told, most of us ain't even fighting the battles. Most of us just gave up. Most of us have already given up. We surrendered. I'm a hoe. I'm always be a hoe. I'm a drug addict. I'm always be a drug addict. I'm an alcoholic. I'm always be an alcoholic. I'm a bum. I'm gonna always be a bum. I'm a bitch, and I'm gonna always be a bitch. We've given up. And we've given up because we don't understand that we have power over our issues. We don't know how to resolve our issues. And it's not even about us trying to resolve our issues. We don't have to fix anything. All we have to do is understand it. Understand it. Why am I the way that I am? I don't have to fix me. You don't have to fix you. You just have to understand you. See, that's the trick. The silent war. We're not supposed to be at war. The silent battles. We're not supposed to be having these battles. We're supposed to understand them. And understand that they're not your enemy. Whatever it is you've gone through in your past, it's not your enemy. Whoever it is that hurt you in the past, he, she's not your enemy. But because we don't understand, we've demonized everybody else. We've demonized those that have hurt us. We demonize those that don't think like us and that don't have the religious dogma that we have and that don't have the political dogma that we have. We demonize them because we don't understand. We demonize drug addiction and alcoholism and gambling and pornography and being a hoe and Banging, we demonize all these things because we don't understand them. We don't understand why we're really doing it. We don't understand why we've been hurt. And so the trip is once you understand. You realize, man, I'm grateful for it. I'm glad that these things happen. Because, because of these things happened, I have the knowledge and the wisdom and the insight 
I'm a better person. I know more about me. I understand me now. So I don't have to be twisted. So I don't have to walk around with depression. I don't have to walk around with suicidal thoughts. I don't have to walk around with homicidal thoughts. I don't have to walk around, man, being just twisted in my mind and not having any peace. Being full of fear and anger. We have all these things because we're in a silent war. Because we're in a silent war. And so it doesn't surprise me. When I look at the crime, it doesn't surprise me when I look at how violent and toxic and negative people have become. It doesn't surprise me. Because the great majority of us were fighting this war. And anytime somebody tries to tell us, man, you ain't got to do this. And, man, let me show you what to do a bit, man. Let me help you with that, that. And they try to get, share some knowledge and wisdom and insight to you. Because it doesn't go along with your dogma. Because it doesn't go along with your belief system. You attack them. And now you've made them your enemy. When all they were doing is trying to help you. You made them an enemy. Because of your insecurities. Because of your unresolved issues. What war is it that you're fighting? How long have you been fighting that war? Have you already given up? Are you one of the defeated ones? Just going through the motions of life. You have no joy. You have no peace. You have no real love. You're just existing. Life is just blah for you. Christmas comes around, it's just bah humbug. Yeah, no big deal. And, and it's like that with all the holidays. Valentine's, oh. With every holiday. With every day. It's, uh, it's just another day. What battles are you fighting? When are you going to stop fighting? When are you going to stop fighting? When are you going to get the help you need? It's available. It's available. See, most of us, we don't want the help because it's going to make us look at some stuff. It's going to make us revisit some stuff. It's going to make us acknowledge some stuff. That we don't want to do. And so we don't fight anymore. We don't even resist anymore. We've already surrendered in that area of our life. I'm just a broke co and I'm always going to be a broke co. We surrendered. It is what it is. Hope and pray that I've said something that's helped you, that's enlightened you, that's shed some light on where you're at. What's going on with you? What's going on within you? What's going on with others? So that we stop being so judgmental towards others. We'll stop damning everybody to hell. We'll stop being so mean to people and learn to be just a little more kind, a little more compassionate, a little more understanding, a little more tolerant. Because after all, they're dealing with something 
just like you. They're struggling with something just like you. Man, we have to grow up. We have to be here to help each other, to lean on each other. I love you guys. Happy healing. Peace.